Well, on top of the Tigers' loss to Alabama, the Saints blew what should have been an easy win to the Tennessee Titans at home in the most cool move since Mike Dick had traded away all the draft picks for Ricky Williams. So let's take a look at all that happened. It's time for the Black and Gold Report. <laughs> Well, the Saints were trying to get over 500 for the first time since 2013 and came up short in overtime in a game that had more flags than the top of the United Nations building and more mistakes than the people in my family trying to change a light bulb. So let's take a look at the game time action. Here we go in the first quarter. Tennessee up by three. Drew Brees looking downfield, got his man, Brandon Coleman deep in the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Beautiful pass. Marcus Mariota's time to respond. He's got pressure. You think he's got the interception? Oh, no. Tipped pass. He's got his man downfield, and he's going to continue to go to the 10. Touchdown, Titans. Back and forth. Drew Brees over the line. Scores his touchdown. Number nine right there going over the line. Now you see right there, sack on the day. Line unable to hold. Brees fakes the handoff around the corner. Got Coleman again. Touchdown for the Saints. Mariota's time to respond. He's got his man wide open, back and forth offensively all day. Now, here you go, game winner for the Titans. It's going in, nap, off the car, spar. Kai Forbath to try to win it for the Saints again, and no good. So we're going to overtime. Second and goal, Mariota out the corner. He's got his man wide open in the end zone. Titans get the win in the Superdome. Now, with the loss, the Saints are now 4-3 and three and remain in third place in the NFC South behind the undefeated Panthers and the 6-3 and three Falcons. They'll play the Redskins on Sunday on the road at FedEx Field in Washington. The kickoff is set for 12 p.m. on Fox. Now, after the game, that wasn't the end of all the action and hitting and all that. Cornerback Brandon Browner physically confronted a reporter from WWL-TV in New Orleans after he overheard a question that offended him. Browner had to be physically restrained by teammates and the Saints training staff and was escorted out of the press room. Today, Browner issued an apology for his action, saying that he felt the question was offensive considering the scope of the game and the overtime loss. However, he says he was emotional and he apologized for his actions. Saints coach Sean Payton refused to comment on whether or not Browner will be disciplined internally. Coming up after the break, Taylor and Johnny give us another reason to love everything about number seven, Leonard Fournette. Don't go anywhere. The Monday Sports Desk will be right back.